Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, checking out a new game. It's been a while since we had a new game on the channel, but today we're going to be checking out Birthdays The Beginning. This is a game coming out uh, May 9th, actually about an hour from the point in which I'm recording this, so you guys will be able to get this game once you see it go live. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game here. One day. A day like any other, I was reading a book when an old scrap of of paper fell out. It looked like a small map, specifically a map of this area, and in the forest a spot had been marked. Maybe it's a treasure map. A childish notion, I know. I had no way of knowing the map was real or not, but it didn't seem too far away, so I went. Pockets of sunlight seeped through the dense canopy trees, dimly shining my way as I walked through the dark forest. And right when I thought, I think this is the spot. Ooh. A beam of light appeared before me. At that moment, I wanted to run, but my feet wouldn't budge. So there I stood, and then, as if beckoning me, the light began to move. And my feet responded in kind. I felt like a puppet. There was nothing I could do. I eventually arrived at the entrance to a cave. The light continued into the cave and my feet continued after it. Shortly after, I lost consciousness. When I woke up, there was a giant cube before me. Next to it, a smaller cube-like object and a creature I had never seen before. And with that, the strangest incident of my life had begun. Welcome to the Unknown World. Uh, I don't have a name myself, but if you want, you can call me Navi. The red guy is your avatar. You can name it any name you want. Okay, so my avatar's name will be, of course, Drax. There we go. Uh, is that okay? Yes, it is. For a long time, my job has been to bring birth life on worlds, has been to birth life on worlds such as this one. But lately, things haven't gone right. I know everything about this world, but I can't do anything on my own. So I called upon you. I'm sure you don't, uh, wait, I'm sure you don't understand, but trust me, you are the chosen one. You seem confused. If you need help, I, I just need help, that's all. I'm sure you won't let me down. If life can be birthed to this world, I could finally complete my task and then you can return to your world. Together we can move forward. It's our only option. First things first, you need to know the rules of this world. Now let's begin. All right, so, you see the red square? That's your cursor. It can highlight various things when raising or lowering the terrain. The cursor will at the center point. Okay, okay. Let's try moving first. Use the left stick to move the... And we'll see. X. All right, so there we can move around like that. Okay, so yeah, C seems okay. I'll explain the mini-map. The mini-map displays bird's eye views of the entire cube. The red dot represents your location. Okay, it might look drab now, but do well. Okay. Now we should move the terrain. You probably are wondering why. Well, it's a key part of birthing life into the world. Okay, so if we raise this. When you press, we'll lower. Okay, do something like this. Whoa! That's pretty cool. By raising and lowering the terrain, you can infuse this world's environment. Basically, raising the land will decrease its temperature, and lowering the land will increase it. Change of temperature will be displayed on the mini-map. However, the temperature fluctuations are affected by other variables. By raising and lowering the terrain... Okay. So, you can shape the world... Press button and okay. So if I want to lower the terrain, I can do so by pushing that down. Um, if I want to shrink, so I can bring all that up. 
But how do I... I'm trying to figure out how I can uh, increase my cursor size. How do you do that? Ask Navi. I want you to try controlling... Okay, yeah. I mean, I've done that. Yeah, there we go. So you can just kind of like lower it all around right there. All the way up. And now we can come all the way up here like that. So is that the highest you can go? And raise that up. And then I can come down here as well. You run out of HP. Oh no. You can heal lost HP in the macro mode. I'll heal you just this once. To control the land one way is by using items. You can see that yellow dot on the minimap. It represents an item. Head over there. Okay, so we just gotta head over this way. Oh, that's cool. This item will dig a big hole in the ground. Press pray to open the items menu and J to use it. But I'd like to put two or threes in a specific location. Our marked red mini marker on the mini map. Okay, so like right here, if I hit K. Oh, very cool. All right, so let's come over to this spot. And we're gonna do another one. Okay. And then what if I wanna do one like right here where it's like half on the ground, half not? That's really neat. What do you think? Useful, huh? Lots of useful items, but right now I have something more important to tell you. So I have to tell you about the sea. It's the birthplace of all life. You can create water by using a primordial drop. That's how it all starts. Uh, in the valley source. Okay. Uh, so this one, primordial drop. Let's hit J. And we have created water. Oh, man. It's like a huge fanfare. Congratulations, this is the first of what I hope to be of many birthdays. The large pool of water you created is called a sea. The cursor status you can see right now is the height negatives. Okay. Uh, is the sea rule of the world? All right. It's almost time for life to be born, if only things were that simple. But waiting around is pretty boring, so let's use an item to speed this up. The broth of life. Organisms without fail. You have to use it in the sea. After all, it's the birthplace of all life. Let's let's come over to this one real quick. Because we can see in this one just a little bit better. Okay. Now all we have to do is wait for life, but right now time is frozen. Normally while you tried to work, things would turn bad really quickly. Here's another important rule. Time only passes when you watch the world unfold from a distance. So press I. Okay, now you can watch the world from a distance. You can adjust the distance with the right stick. It's called macro mode. It's very important, and it's how you unfreeze time. When time passes, the cube environment will change. Okay. Press X to unfreeze time. Okay. Phytoplankton? Congratulations, Phytoplankton said the original life form. Life news is displayed on the right. Okay. Information about the world, temperature fluctuations, flora, fauna status, terrain, stuff like that. I need to show you the mechanics of birthing life. Temperature is the most important factor for life to be born. And geographical changes matter too, but the most important is by far temperature. Uh, the ratio to land seems to be determines the temperature. The more land there is, the lower the temperature, and the more sea there is, the higher the temperature. Elevation is also a factor. The higher elevation, the lower temperatures, and vice versa. Okay. Shape the terrain. Various life forms will be born. How you can progress time. I'll tell you something a little bit more useful. At the bottom of the screen, you can change the speed at which time X will start and stop time. C will fast forward and stop time. Okay, C. So we are fast forwarding time until I run out of life. And now we got zooplankton. Okay. New species have been born. Makes three birthdays now. Expect to see a lot more. I, I only see two. As a reward, I'll heal your HP. 
Well, thank you. Now you've born a zooplankton, first metacellular organism. Phytoplankton to survive and his first link in the food chain. Ooh. Uh, sometimes the environment can no longer support certain species when they begin to increase in number. The species will adapt to the environment and through evolution, a new species will be born. It's just crazy. Like, this is actually really cool. Life sure is mysterious. After the third life form is born, you can continue on. You can zoom in and change the terrain and do all kinds of stuff. And let time unfold again. Okay, alright. So now if I... I can start time again. And everything seems to be pretty good. Uh, so if I just continue here and let this do what it needs to do... Shouldn't run into too many problems. Um, ba -da -da -dum -bum, ba -da -da -dum -bum. What is happening here? There's so much going on. Uh, we could fast forward time. Let's let's do that a little bit and see what else we can get to uh, to come to life. Yes, yeah, stromatolite, a stromatolite. Another species was born. Another birthday to celebrate. Organism of algae that lives in temp high temperature shallows. You ask? Because the location met conditions for life. Therefore, it was born to thrive in these conditions, too. Location factors all sorts of variables, such as temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Temperature, life, and location. Birth of this world. More and other might go extinct. Life forms that can not adapt will die off. Life forms are in danger. I and life news. Okay. Press I to enter the world. Okay. So now we're back into the world. Micro mode. Don't mix them up. Now we've talked about the minimap before. The minimap will also display the position of all organisms in this world. Uh, but you just get its colored dots. Try looking for it. It was just born. It's display it as a pink dot. Okay. If you approach the room you haven't captured yet, the pink triangle will appear. Click the touchpad. Okay. All right, so now if we come over to this little guy. So now we can capture him? Uh, capture. I hit B. All right, now we have captured him. So this is... Oh, level up. I gotta level up! Amazing! I'm so confused. Congrats on leveling up. There's one more benefit to capturing. It's how you attain experience. The more you capture, the more XP you gain. You'll gain more HP for creating terrain, and you can adjust the size of the cursor, too. Directional adjust the cursor size. Okay. Alright. In view mode... Right. Okay, that's cool. So now we can actually change the size of the cursors, and then if I want to go to view mode... Oh, this is weird. It's like my camera stuff is backwards. Like, if I'm... Why is it backwards? Hold on. Um, it's... <laughs> everything's weird. All right, so now if I want to turn around and look at this guy, oh man, it's so weird. So I can actually turn off the UI and I could like snap pictures if I wanted to. That's pretty cool. All right, and then you can ascend and descend. All cool stuff, man. Same thing as well, all right. Cool, how was it? It was cool. Uh, nothing is there. Like I said, the world is pretty much in your hands. Now let's return to macro mode. Okay, so I gotta go to macro mode. And how this world works. Before you move on, there's one more thing I must teach you. Press in, you can change the control settings, adjust the volume, and save your data. Extinction is naturally occurring part of life. You need more strolomites. Okay. If you center flat terrain on the, it'll be easier for them to flourish. Okay. 
Your goal is about a thousand. All right, so now we go back into macro mode or micro mode, and so these guys over here need need a little bit of uh, of goodness. So let's let's go ahead and raise that. Um, and then how did it say that I could raise and lower terrain? Go back over there, and it's um, oh, it's this button right here, right? Yeah. Okay. So if I if I want to lower, or I'm sorry, raise the terrain right here, let's come up to there, and then we can lower that. All right. There's the shallows. Okay. So now, let's say I want to come in here, and let's go ahead and increase my size. Got that. I need a thousand. Is there a way to know how much I have? I guess there's not really any any real way. But I do know that I can come through here and like raise this stuff up like this. And make this all like relatively flat for these guys. And just like that. Negative one T. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, open item menu. Yeah, we don't have anything in the item menu. If I hit in, this is all very cool. Avatar status, game options, options, title screen, all that stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go back. Okay, so now with these guys like this, if I go back to this, I should be able to go ahead and start time. And then we can go ahead and speed up time. So, nice job. Here's a small present. It's called the Seed of Life. Uh, is a new organism. If you use the Seed of Life, an organism suited to that location will be born. Or basically, a jellyfish? High temperature seas and float along the water surface eating plankton. Okay, so now we got to go back in. We're just going to grab one of these guys, and we're going to use the Seed of Life. Now go back to macro mode and let time unfold. Okay, back up. Start time, and then we can speed up time. More zooplankton. It's good stuff. The Cyclomedusa. Everything going smoothly. Seed of Evolution. You can turn it into its evolved form. Ooh, its evolved form, seed of life to make out of the Strolmite. Okay. All right, let's um, let's go back, and then we can use this on one of these. Okay, and then if I go back to Macro mode? No, there's actually this too, isn't there? There's a, a jellyfish right here. So if I hit capture, now we have the Cyclomedusa. That thing's pretty cool looking actually. And then over here, is there anything? I don't, I don't see anything over there, but let's go ahead and go up to, oh, we got a close menu, macro mode. And we can start time. Salucina. So we got that thing already. Good job. Here are three seeds of evolution. It's a number of items you can hold, so use them carefully. Okay. Uh, Elthra, do you know what the trilobite is? It's an ancient trilobite. Um, it swims and scuttles along the ocean floor. The conditions for birth are as follows. Shallows roughly 48 sea and a minimum of 5,400 Silomedisa. Uh, easily burst species using an item, but it might be better to shape the terrain. Okay, cool. So, um, let's see. We, we need a 48C. Is that what they said? So, I just need to go ahead and increase my sizing here. Uh, and then we can go ahead and start to drop down terrain in this area. Kind of like so. And just kind of, you know, fill all this in like that we are lowering the temperature i 
good bit. Maybe too much, actually. Oh, it's 39C. Oh, wait, no. Oh, we're, we're doing good. So we actually... We got to get this up to 46, right? I believe that's how it works. We got to get this up to 46, and then once we get it up to 46, we're good. We're golden. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of HP. Uh, let's go ahead and head back up. Start time. So that will get us there. Strolomite? Stromamolite. And then we need the Cyclomedusas to... Uh, populate quite a bit more they're doing okay they're not doing great but they're doing okay okay so let's start normal time and then let's go ahead and jump back in here real quick because I think we've got some new stuff we can capture so like this guy captured this is uh, a seaweed. Okay. Level up again. Level three. Awesome. So we've got all of those captured. There's a good good amount of stuff. 49C. We've captured that little guy already. I do want to slowly, like, take down this. I wish... So how big can I make my thing now? Oh, not that big, actually. I thought that it went up with every uh, every size, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Okay, so we're 32% water. We're a lot of water around here, but that's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to go back up. We're going to start time. And then we now have the Alurthria. That was fast, actually. Great. Looks like you're getting the hang of this. Uh, made it this far. You must birth the first organism moved to land, the Bargobotharnia. Almost time. If it goes well, you'll be able to return to your world. A type of fern that breeds on land, traveling far from its birthplace. Migrated to land. Lowland. Minimum 6,000. Selenia. Conditions for birth. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and jump in here, and I believe we got to use it on this guy. So if I hit K, Seeds of Evolution. Oh, I didn't actually mean to click on that. Um, it covers 200 HP. That's fine. Select favorite. Select item. Yeah, see, that's that. We got to sw switch through. That was not what I meant to do. That was not what I meant to do. Let's use that on that guy. And then we can go ahead and, and switch back up here. Oh, wow. That happened really fast. You birth, capture it, and you're home free. Until then, free to do as you please. Just capture it whenever you're ready. Wait, go on. All right, so let's, let's head down. And we should now be able to capture this thing. Uh, why can't I capture it? This is acting weird. There we go. There we go. Now I hit B. Captured. All right. A nice little plant. Got no level ups. You did it. Mission complete. Our time together was brief, but I am grateful to you. I couldn't have done this on my own. Now go back to your world. Episode clear. All right. So that's the first episode of birthdays. I'm... I got to learn a little bit more about this, but it is uh, it is definitely pretty cool. You guys want to see more in the future? Be sure to hit that like button and let me know with a comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.